Blockchain.com. Hum, 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 hum. It was these colonies that came together and formed a federal government, not the other way around. The root of New Hampshire's troubles. Such as they are, is it the connection with Washington? The connection with the Federal Reserve? Is it the government schooling system? And which of these routes would be easiest to sever? Would it be easier to get New Hampshire out of the Union? Something not so popular. Or to end in some way the Federal Reserve? Something more popular. Well, the answer is not so simple because Secession would be easier, even if less popular. Ending the Federal Reserve would probably be harder, even though more popular. I wonder if there is a way New Hampshire could separate from the Federal Reserve in some way without separating from the Union. But until somebody has thought of such a way, my sedition rants may have to focus a little bit more on secession. Uh, Ian Freeman over at Free Talk Live has this theory that the most audacious and fast-moving states or provinces tend to be the ones that escape their empires most intact. He was looking at Estonia, Lithuania, I think, and of course the much less successful Chechnya. But I look at Slovenia and Croatia especially Slovenia, those folks were very robust and fearless in their drive to get away from Yugoslavia. For that and other reasons, the separation, the separation was fairly fast and fairly bloodless. Croatians were more cautious and lost 10,000 people at least. Well, I guess the total death toll in Croatia was about 10,000. That would have been on both sides. And then the Bosnians, who were the most circumspect and cautious about pulling out the Yugo Republic with the least inhumane government, arguably, that was the one that took 200,000 body bags on the head. So with the Soviet and Yugoslav situations being somewhat similar to the American situation now, there is more urgency than people think when it comes to getting New Hampshire out in the forefront as a hotbed of secessionism. Independence, of course, being a better word for it. I'm doing my part to some extent. I've probably made 30 calls to talk radio over the last 10 years uh, inside New Hampshire, talking up the idea. The fact is it's a concept that fits well with almost anything that talk radio personality speaks of. Uh, most of those talk jocks just want to talk about how they don't like some policy or senator. Solutions almost never seem to enter into it. And this is a solution that goes to the heart of all those problems. Well, of course, bringing along some of its own. I used to be against the idea of secession or secessionism as the free state, uh, free state movement was starting out. But a while back I realized that the more, the more controversial and ethical idea is, the more of our purposes it can serve. Our purposes ultimately being the same as those who, as, as that of those who don't like being hit over the head with a billy club. We want a drastic reduction in the amount of aggression average New Hampshireites suffer. No victim, no crime! No no not hurting anybody! Whether that's the aggression of taxation or any other abuse they might endure. Most of that abuse is a result of New Hampshire's ties with Washington. And to get rid of most of it, we need to abolish those ties, ideally. Actually, it's not ideal, but it's what we're left with. Anyway, like I said, I feel like I've been doing my part, but what I think is really needed, and something I don't want to do myself, is getting a really good... red meat bill in front of the state house. Not one that is intended to pass its first three tries, but one that is intended to generate dialogue. Doing this would put us, this would help us get ahead of Vermont and Alaska in the race to, to independence. A race that those two are essentially winning these days. 
Now again, when the wheels come off, we want to be Slovenia. We want to be Estonia. We don't want to be Bosnia. We don't want to be Chechnya. We don't want to be California. Maryland. As unpopular as secession is in some quarters, that unpopularity is an advantage in New Hampshire because we have the happy, unique situation of being a movement that is set up to successfully leverage negative publicity. Sometimes I'm not sure all the free staters understand that, but by and large, we're only losing if people aren't talking about us. Talk of independence, publicity stunts aimed in that direction, make that happen. And at the same time, they tend to move the state into the position which will uh, grant it the best chance at a safe condition whenever America's economic collapse finally happens. The collapse that none of us can prevent. Like I say, video has sucked all the air out of my room and going off mission to build bills or do other things that aren't video, well, I've almost always regretted that in the past, so I'd regret it this time too if I went in that direction. So, it's up to you. Anybody can make a bill happen in the state house. You just have to find one friend who's a rep. I've always felt like a bill like this should simply remove some piece of text that ties New Hampshire to the Union, remove the key piece of text, whatever that is, even if it means a constitutional amendment and a vote of the people that would have no chance of passing. We need to get this discussion moved forward. I'll be here to play my role, drawing attention to your concerns. Well, at least if you submit this bill. Or do something else interesting to give me some succession, succession to talk about. Blockchain.info's free Bitcoin web wallet. Chock full of privacy and security features. Two-factor authentication. A second password for sending coins. They never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Um, 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 um.